For right now I'm going to rebuild the head as far as the valves have already been put in but I've taken the, the engine case and put it over on the side for right now. The next step will be to rebuild or just put together the camshaft which is right here the rocker arms for your intake here the rocker arms for the exhaust valve and then your slides right here now what I've done I've just put these in here they're not all put together I just want to show you what it's going to look like when it gets done so you have a kind of an understanding of that the camshaft has its own bearings it has two lobes which are one of them is exhaust and the other is a intake and you can pull it out just like that it's kind of a neat little unit to tell you the truth if I can get it out of here here we go the camshaft has a sealed bearing on one end and you're supposed to roll it around to make sure that it's uh, not sticking and on the other end it has another little seal bearing which is really nice this is your intake lobe and your exhaust lobe and all that means is that when the lobe reaches its high point right here what it does is it pushes up on this part of the arm pushes it up this way and it will push the valve down right here and what that will do is open the, the valve it's like any other valve it's just a little different it, it opens and closes you can see the arms up there the arms run continuously on the cam and the cam every revolution will open or shut the intake on the left or the exhaust valve on the right it only opens it for a split second and it only opens it so far it's just enough to allow your intake charge to go in from right here to go in that'll open your intake charge will, will go in then you'll hit your compression stroke I believe four strokes are not high point anyway it'll come back up the piston will come back up and your exhaust valve will open a little bit and it will send your exhaust right out there the trick is to get the camshaft in proper alignment with the crankshaft right over there it's behind there the old crankshaft you can see it right there the crankshaft and the camshaft work exactly the same connected by a chain they have the exact same rotation so either the camshaft and the crankshaft are in perfect alignment on the um, compression stroke, exhaust stroke, whatever it is, or you're totally fucked. It will work or it really, really, really won't work. Because the valves have to work in conjunction with the crankshaft lifting the piston up and down. Then we're going to take out these and these will slide out these are your um, rock these are called rocker arms now this has two rocker arms one for exhaust one for intake the intakes are my finger is it's just like a Lamborghini the one I want the 1988 and a half Quattro Volvo that head has four valves it has two intake and two exhaust it also has four camshafts and you don't want to know what the prices are I think it's like $125 125 just for one valve and there's 48 valves but the, but the thing is with like the Lamborghini for instance they use four valves so that the motor will breathe easier or it will take in more fuel and put out more fuel that is a theory of horsepower the more air and gas you can put through a motor the more horsepower you'll create after we get the rocker arms rebuilt and put on here I'll put the shims back on the top here the little tiny metal shims and you get those in different thicknesses but that's at a later date so I'm going to take some molybdenum 
and ICs right here and I'll put it on the camshaft up here and I'll put it on some of the parts while we rebuild it but I've got to go post this for now and after we get the head rebuilt then we'll put the head onto the engine then we'll put the oil pump in we'll put the camshaft chain in and the tensioner and we continue with Operation Project Ruckus, the total rebuild.